ready to level up your design game with new Flex Bolid. Having pro-level tools without spending a dime. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you the best way to use Flux Pulid absolutely free. The all of this is possible thanks to the latest model, Flux Pulid. It lets you create consistent characters without needing to train a separate Laura model. I'm really excited about this, so let's jump right in. All right, let's begin by exploring Flex Pulid. Here, we're looking at the GitHub repository for this model. As I scroll down, you'll notice the code is readily available for viewing. If you prefer, you can install this locally on your system. However, there's no need to worry if you don't have the resources I'll guide you through a free online method to access and use this model without needing a GPU. As we go further down, you'll see multiple options to work with Flex Pollard, such as running it directly on Hugging Face or using Replicate services. I'll dive into each of these options and cover all the features in detail. But before we get into those, let's first examine the model's capabilities. If you're interested in trying the Gradio demo, that option is currently available online for easy access. For those considering a local installation, here are a few requirements to keep in mind. Along with these requirements, you'll find example images showcasing the model's versatility. For instance, it can take a single selfie and transform it into multiple styles ranging from a realistic portrayal to a playful Lego-style character, a futuristic look, and even a baby version of yourself. These examples highlight the impressive range of creative possibilities that this model offers. Now, let's walk through how to access this, this model. There are two primary ways to use it online. The first option is Replicate, where you can generate images for around $0.028 per generation making it quite affordable. There's also another Replicate Pay page available, where the cost is even lower at approximately $0.0021 per generation less than a cent. Ultimately, it's up to you if you'd like to use Replicate for your needs. For this tutorial, however, we'll focus on using Hugging Face, which provides access to the model entirely free of charge. Do note, though, that Hugging Face does have some daily usage limits, but stay tuned because as promised in the video title, I'll reveal a method at the end that allows you to use this model without any cost and with multiple generations. So be sure to watch through to the end. First, we'll need an input image. For this, I'll use a tool called Ideogram, which I'll link in the description. I find Ideogram to be one of the most realistic models out there. I'll enter a simple prompt a beautiful lady holding a balloon and taking a selfie as. Choose the realistic style and then hit generate. All right. Here are the output images from Ideogram, just take a look at this. The realism is truly impressive. To give you an even better sense of its quality, here are a few additional images I generated earlier. Personally, Ideogram is my top choice for creating realistic images. I'd even recommend it over Midjourney, especially since it's free. Now, let's get back to our main task. We'll use this image as our reference image. A cinematic movie still of a young woman in close-up walking slowly through a dimly lit forest at dusk, with sunbeams piercing through the trees, casting long shadows and illuminating dust particles in the air. And yes, this prompt was generated using ChatGPT. In all of these images, you'll notice a strikingly cinematic look that's thanks to using the prompt a cinematic movie still to get that immersive look. I recommend starting your prompt with these words. Next, let's take a look at some important settings. We have the ID weight, which helps preserve the likeness of our subject and options to adjust aspect ratios. There's also the step count, with a maximum of 20 steps for each generation. The one key setting is the guidance scale, while the default is around 4. I suggest lowering it to about 2.4 or 2.5 for optimal results. So once everything is set, hit generate and let's check out the result. Here's the output image. Look at that cinematic quality and realism, it's fantastic. You can see the details in the skin texture. While it might not be the absolute pinnacle of realism, it's quite impressive. Here's the before image, and here's the after. Here's another example in this one. She's watching the sea. Again, the facial features and details like hair color and style align seamlessly with our input image. And here are a few more images, one with a warm smile as she stands in front of the ocean and another with her sitting on the beach in a bikini, smiling. Here are more generations for you to explore. Mm. 
Next, I'll create additional images with a simple prompt a cinematic still of a beautiful woman in close-up after entering the prompt. Let's see the results. Wow, amazing. These are superb outputs. Remember to start your prompt with a cinematic movie still for that consistent, cinematic look. You share your thoughts in the comments below. Now, if you're looking to upscale your images and enhance details, here's how you can do it. I'll include all the links in the description for easy access. For instance, if you want to add finer details to an image, there's a free tool on Hugging Face that lets you upload your image and select an upscaling factor. Try setting it to around 1.6 and hit Submit. Here's the output image you'll notice added details on the face, like subtle freckles. This method primarily enhances facial features, though it can sometimes distort them slightly. While results vary, it's a handy, free tool for adding extra details. Once you have your images, you can transform them into videos with an AI video generation tool. Options include Kling AI, Vidu AI, and Luma AI. Personally, I recommend Vidu AI. After signing up, head to the Create a Video section and choose the Image to Video feature. Just upload your image. Then enter a prompt like a woman smiling and looking at the front camera and click Generate. Here's the result you'll notice subtle, natural movements that bring the image to life. Here's another example with a video of her in a bedroom, which also turned out nicely. I've created a few more image to video transformations using Video AI for you to check out. Before we reveal the free method, there's more. After watching this video, feel free to check out another video I've created using Minimix for video generation. Now, here's a tip for using this tool once you've hit your daily credits limit. If you need more credits, you can create a new account. When you see the pink bar notification about credits, click it right away. If it's gone, click Generate again. To create a new account, simply log out, then sign up again with a new email and password. For convenience, you can use TempMail to get a temporary email address. Just delete the previous email and generate a fresh one. Enter the new email and password, and you're set to continue. Next, enter a username and full name. I'm just using random letters as placeholders. Then. Enable the Terms of Service option to proceed and create the account. You can skip the next steps and then complete the image-based capture to confirm you're not a bot. A verification email will be sent to your TempMail inbox. Open TempMail, find the email, and verify your account quick and easy. And once you're set up, navigate to the Spaces section at the top of the page. Here, you'll see Flex Pullid. Click on it, and you'll be taken to the Image Generation page. I've covered all steps here to ensure clarity. Now, let's take a look at our output image. Today, we've gone through the full process of generating consistent character images based on our reference image, converting an image to video, and upscaling the image. This workflow offers flexibility depending on your preferences. And my goal here was to give you a solid introduction to the process. Our main focus was on creating inconsistent character images with FlexPulid. And in my opinion, FlexPulid performs exceptionally well. That wraps up today's Flux AI Pulid video. If you found this guide helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth tutorials just like this. If you want to want to create a news channel using AI, AI Avatar, Video Generator Free, News Presenter, Canva Chat, GPT. Click on the left. If you're interested in the earning from AI model, create AI influencer, Shagger AI, Flux One Pro tutorial, image generator. Click on the right. Thank you for being part of this journey. Happy Learnify AI.